Thanks for joining us. I'm Staff Sergeant Mariko Frazee. Taking the skills they learned on the ground during exercise forest light, U.S. and Japanese forces take their training to the sky. Lance Corporal Jacob Colvin is there with more. Here at Exercise Force Flight 17-1, the Japan Ground Self-Defense Force are going over repelling tactics out of the U.S. MV-22 Osprey. The land of the rising sun practice MV-22 skills they could use when working with the Marines. 2nd Battalion, 3rd Marines Commander, Lieutenant Colonel Ryan H. Hoyle, say their ability to learn techniques quickly will be helpful in future endeavors. And so if the Japanese needed to, uh, during humanitarian assistance disaster relief, work alongside of us, um, then they're comfortable with that aircraft and, and can operate alongside us with it. And with natural disasters prevalent in the region, more lives will be saved because of this training. Reporting from Sagamahara, Japan, I'm Lance Corporal Jacob Colvin. From the skies of Japan to the coast of Guam, another group of U.S. and Japanese forces train out at sea. Technical Sergeant Brian McGee tells us what this bilateral training exercise brings to the region. Approximately 2,300 service members and seven ships from U.S. and Japan fleets came together for exercise multi sail off the coast of Guam. The five-day annual bilateral training is designed to strengthen partnership and increase readiness to respond to any contingency. The biggest piece is we work on our interoperability with one another. It reinforces the alliance. We operate routinely with the JMSDF all over the theater. Submarines, destroyers, and Navy MH-60 Blackhawks played a major role for surface, air, and anti-submarine interactions through various scenarios at sea in and around Guam. That does it for this news break. You can check out AFN Pacific on YouTube and divitub.net and follow us on Twitter and Facebook at AFN Pacific Now. Thanks for watching.